in this video i'm just trying to tell you something more about the factorials we learn what is factorial zero factorial and those all we learn so we know that if i'm writing five factorial then it means five times four times three times two times one as we had learned the factorial is uh, just the the continued product of the first and natural number so five four three two one so five fours are twenty twenty three is a sixty sixty two is a one twenty so five factorial is 120 all right and 5 factorial can be written as 5 uh, times 4 factorial also you know because this is 4 factorial so in the similar way let's say uh, I want to write 8 factorial minus uh, 7 factorial so how can I solve this you know 8 factorial is actually 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times uh, 1 all right and uh, 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. This is a linear method and the lazy method and the dumb method of solving factorial. Uh, by the way, I'm going to do by this method also. So I have to calculate this product. Let me do it in my calculator. 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's going to be and this will be 4040, 0, 0, right? And if you subtract 35280, right, uh, in a linear way, but in a shorter way, in a smarter way, you can do this is 8 factorial minus 7 factorial. So, simply, you know, 8 factorial, you can write 8 times 7 factorial and minus 7 factorial. So, you can take 7 factorial common and it will be 8 minus 1, and then it's going to be 7 times 7 factorial. And 7 times now you can write uh, 7 factorial as a 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. You don't have to write uh, after 2 by the way because 1 we know everybody alright. So the answer will be now 7 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 equals to again the same 3 5 2 8 0. Alright. So anyhow you solve you'll get the same. Now let's solve something like uh, 20 factorial over... 18 factorial how you'll solve this to solve this you know you just write 20 factorial as a 20 times 9 times 18 factorial and then 18 factorial is denominator you cancel this and 20 times 19 that is 380 all right like this you can solve similarly let's solve another one let's say we have 10 factorial over 6 factorial times 4 factorial all right how to solve this so to solve this uh, we can first write the 10 factorial as a 10 times uh, 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial and then 6 factor is already that's why I stopped there because I saw 6 is here and now 4 factor I can break like 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 alright and then 6 factorial 6 factorial will cancel off 4 times 2 uh, that is 8 and 3 times 3 you can cancel this and then this 2 and this 2 will also cancel 10 times 3 that is 30 and times 7 that is 210 so like this you'll solve and I will include some more properties and more way of solving factorial problems in the next video. This is really getting longer, right? So I'll get back to you in the next video. Bye-bye.